Hey guys, we're gonna do geometry packet six, which is parallel and perpendicular lines, distance midpoint, partitioning, and circle similarity. All right, so let's first look at the notes we took last class. Make sure you put your name here. Uh, today is May 1st, and we probably took notes on the 27th or 28th of May of April, right? And this is either period eight or seven. Okay, so we answered questions to the first page. And uh, it looks like we did everything but this one. So if you have time, we'll come back to that one. And then the third page, we definitely did. And the fourth page, we only kind of touched on. Okay, so let's start here on the fourth page, pick up where we left off. Um, it says for our learning goal, prove that the slope criterion is used to solve for parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, so we know that if a slope was three halves, um, then the perpendicular slope to that would be negative two thirds. How do we know that? Well, by simply graphing. So if I took a line and I moved up three over two, made a dot, this slope is 3, 2 because I rose 3 and I ran 2. All right, if I look at this slope, that's uh, the only way to make a 90 degree angle is to go down 2 over 3, 1, 2, 3. Notice this going down 2, 1, 2 over 3, 1, 2, 3 does in fact make this line and this line meet at a precisely a 90 degree angle. So this helps us recognize the rule for this learning goal, which is opposite reciprocal slopes are perpendicular. Okay. What is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through that point? Okay, this is kind of cool. Okay, so let's do a little bit of algebra here. So we have 3x plus y is 2. We need to get it into y equals mx plus b format. So y is negative 3x plus 2. We can see the slope of this line because y is equal to mx plus b. We notice this is the slope right? So if the slope of the original equation is negative 3, then the perpendicular slope would be positive one third. So as we look here, we've, we are able to eliminate A and B. All right, now we want to make sure that it not only has this slope, but that it passes through this point. We have what's called a point slope formula. All right, what is the point slope formula? It looks like a lot like the slope formula. So it would be y2 minus y1 is equal to slope x2 minus x1. This formula is on the formula sheet. Okay, so what are some of my y coordinates? Well, this is a y coordinate, so I'll call that y2. And this is an x coordinate, so I'll call that x2. Now I don't have a second point, so what else can I do? Well, we can also make this y minus y1 slope x minus x1, okay? So we can actually set x and y as variables instead of specific formulas, and this will actually help us get our answer. So back to the drawing board, here is our slope, here is our slope, that part we know, right? Here is our x coordinate, here is our x coordinate, here is our y coordinate. Let's plug them in. So y minus eight is equal to one third x minus six. Okay, so it looks like D is in the running, but let's, we, we got some other stuff to contend with here. Let's, so let's make sure we take care of it. If I distribute this one third, I get Y minus eight is equal to one third X minus two. 
All right, and then I still need to add eight, and we get y is equal to one third x plus six. Do we come up with our answer? Yes, our hunch was right. Um, okay, so let's move. We don't have to do every question here, but let's go ahead and um, keep moving through here, right? Select all the equations that would be perpendicular. Okay, so again, here is my equation. Y equals mx plus b. Y is equal to 2 over 1x minus 8. So my slope is 2 over 1. The perpendicular slope would be negative 1 half. So who's negative 1 half? This one I already know. This one I already know is no, right? Because it is in y equal mx plus b format. So these choices were already in the right format. Now these other choices, we have to rearrange, right? So we subtract x on both sides. We get 2x equals negative, 2y equals negative x plus 5. We divide by 2. And we get y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 5 halves. We're looking for a perpendicular slope, right, that is negative 1 half. This one does it. It is negative 1 half. It doesn't look like it, but it is. All right, let's look at the next one. You can kind of see that this one's not going to work, though. Okay, so let's look at this next one. We have 2y equals, we're going to add x to both sides, so we get x minus 3. Then we'll divide by 2. And the reason why I have a problem with this one is the slope is only 1 half. I need a slope of negative 1 half, so I'm going to say no. All right, last but not least, let's rearrange this one. So I have negative 2y equals positive x plus 9. Then we'll divide by a negative 2. Ooh, I think maybe I like this. This would be negative 1 half for my slope. So I'm going to say yes for question number 3. Nice. Okay, so a lot of algebra, just kind of putting stuff in y equal mx plus b format. Let's take a look at number five. Which of this statement is true about these two lines? So we notice neither is in slope format, therefore we can't tell the slope of either one. So let's rewrite this one. That'd be y is equal to 2x minus 8. So we notice the slope is 2. Okay, now let's take a look at this second one. We get negative 5y equals negative 3x minus 3. So when we... Divide by a negative 5 on each, we get y is equal to positive 3 fifths x plus 3 fifths. Okay, interesting. Interesting outcome here. We get our slope is equal to 3 fifths. Are they perpendicular? No. Are they parallel? No. Do they coincide? Maybe. The lines intersect but are not perpendicular. Mm. Okay, I thought that's what, so I'm going to put a big solid maybe there. So I'm, I'm tending toward D. Let me explain why. Let's say I took this, this, this equation, right, starts at negative 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, goes up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. So something like this is this equation right here also known as this one, and I rearranged it, okay? The next equation says y crosses it at 3 fifths, so I don't even go down 1, so not even a whole 1, and I go up 3 pieces over 5, up 3 over 5, up 3 over 5, something like this. They definitely coincide, but they're not perpendicular. So this one, to be perpendicular to this would be negative one-half, and that is not that. To be perpendicular to this one, you'd be negative five-thirds, and this one's definitely not that. So they most certainly intersect, but they are not perpendicular. All right. Question number two, I think we'll call that our last one. Which equation represents a line that's parallel? So we know parallel means same. 
slope. So we identify the slope here is two. So we're only looking for what is two. This has a slope of negative two, so we're gonna say no. Um, this one, ooh, I think it's C. Let's take a look. This one, we can add two X on both sides and we get y is equal to 2x plus 2. Notice the slope is 2. So yeah, parallel means same slope. So what does this mean? This line was at 1, and it went up 2 over 1. So this line is graphed there, up 2 over 1, OK? This line crosses it at 2 and it goes up two over one, up two over one. So this line runs immediately parallel, it just has a slightly higher y-intercept. All right, that's definitely parallel. I'm gonna choose C, and I'm gonna say, have a great night, guys. See you next time.